Well, what's going on YouTube? One of the XRAM. Clearly, I'm not using a GoPro. I just kind of had an idea for a vlog and uh, I felt like this doing it right now would be more organic, more genuine than uh, set everything up and try to prepare what exactly it was I was going to say and this and that. So, um, we're coming up on the New Year's and <clears throat> everyone is trying to set a resolution. They're trying to set something they want to start um, this upcoming year. And while that's not a terrible thing to do, it's always a good thing. It's just no one ever, the percentage of you actually following through with it and finishing it past the first three weeks of the month, um, it's pretty low. Um, so I say, if you're planning on doing something that you think you need to start next year, start today. Start right now. I hear a lot of, I'm planning on this, or I think I'm going to do that, and while, you know, planning is always a good idea, there comes a point in time where planning is taking you as far as it's going to get, and you need to take action, you need to actually do something, put something in motion that's going to get you to the goal that is you're trying to get to next year, which obviously is only a week away, so, you know not even a week away. Wow, it's less than that. <laughs> um, but the point is, start right now. I know it's only a few days away now that I think about it, um, but start right now. It doesn't matter what it is. Get something in motion that starts you on the path of where you want to be next year. Um, this is the thing with goals. Is they, don't, they don't need a calendar date um, to start them. Uh, obviously, if you put a calendar date to them to finish them, um, it kind of gives you more perspective to how long you have to actually get it done, and it kind of makes them a little more real when you put dates to them. Um, but really, the, the main gist of all this is start today. Start right now. Watch this video or watch whatever videos on YouTube and start right now what you want to do and and see it through see it through till you're actually done and you're um, you've accomplished it and then set another one and just keep that going for this upcoming year so the main gist of everything again is start now and um, when you think about your goals that you want to do this year it's great to, you know, everyone, you know, start with a small goal that's real attainable. Well, I look at it this way. If you set little tiny goals and you reach these little tiny goals, yes, they will build to something. So there's a bigger picture you're obviously building towards. So when you think about what it is you want to do next year, think of the big picture. Think of what it is the grandest thing that you want to do with your life or whatever your goal is main goal is and set that as your main goal then have your little goals in between there so you can kind of take off every every little success that you have or even every little failure that you have so you can kind of learn from them and try to do what you need to do to get to that that main that main idea set something grand set something that your friends, your family, even you thing thinks is a little outside of your realm. Set it a little past what you think you can do. The reason for this isn't to set yourself up for failure. It's to set yourself up to understand that you can do more than you honestly imagine. We as humans are very capable of, you know, anything we want to do. And it all comes down to what's in your heart and what's in your head. And I don't mean how incredibly intelligent you are, how determined you are, how much passion you have for what it is your goal is being set. You know, we can do a ton with our lives. So don't set just little tiny goals and try to reach them because eventually some people are going to get those little goals and that's where we're going to stop because it's comfortable. Don't be comfortable. Honestly, this whole year, if you have anything that you really do, Try to make yourself as uncomfortable as possible. It sounds terrible. It really does. But put yourself in situations, not obviously, hopefully dangerous ones, 
but put yourself in situations where you're doing something you don't wouldn't normally have done, okay? Talk to people you wouldn't normally have talked to. Talk to people that are in the higher echelon that you don't think you could ever have a conversation with and then start a conversation with them. You know, it's, it's one of those things that if you start pushing yourself more, you'll realize how much more you can actually do. Um, and that's my little spiel on, on uh, New Year's. I, I, I honestly love New Year's. I don't like Christmas that much, but I love New Year's. I don't know what it is. Um, but I'll do a little video like I've done before of my New Year's shot. Um, I have something special to drink this year, so uh, I'll share that with you guys. Um, so with that, you all have a good one. Have a happy and safe New Year's. And, you know, really, really, really try to push yourself this year. Do something that you didn't think was entirely possible that you wanted to do, but you didn't think it was quite right for you. Or not quite right, but quite obtainable for you. And really just put everything you have into it. Um, if you fail, you learn. You can't be afraid of that. You have to you have to push yourself. And failure is going to happen. But the fear is what holds you back from actually getting to where you want to be. So, uh, I can go on about fear all <laughs> for a whole other vlog, but I'm not going to do that. And you guys have a good one. Talk to you later.